kind of. 
you know what she knew I used to ask her why do you treat Jodie like that and she used to shrug her shoulders and said I've always been like that with her and I don't know why there was one time you know that red flagged for me um, I can't remember why she did this but I was saying goodbye to her at the end of her road and she just started like hitting me <laughs> I, literally I was standing there and I said oh, I'll see you tomorrow shall I call for you in the morning and she was like hitting me like this and she said yes of course call for me in the morning and she walked off and I I, I was thinking why would she do that but I just got on with it like I, I didn't question it too much I just thought it is what it is walked on <laughs> and that was in that was like high school time so I, I don't know why I was so surprised when she used to switch at work and I put up with a lot like I don't really get angry very quickly I don't care enough <laughs> about myself probably but I don't care enough like you can do whatever you need to me if it makes you feel better I don't care um, so yeah she used to like be really shitty at work and then when we got outside of work she'd be really nice to me and I just thought you know maybe she's just a bit insecure at work so she needs to feel like She's a bit more superior around them. I don't know, but it was weird anyhow. Um, I think maybe it was a bit of jealousy as well because I didn't just stay as a carer. Like, I moved on and I started doing the activities, which I think she wanted to do, but I had the balls to do it. Maybe. I don't know again. But yeah, she treated me weird there. Um, again, maybe it was the staff because they weren't nice people either. So there was a few nice ones, but a lot of the a lot of them were a bit bitter at life in general. Again, I wasn't bothered because I knew that they probably had things going on, so I just used to let them get on with it. But towards the end, it was getting me stressed because, like, twelve hours a day, one after another, with the same people. Oh, it was just draining when you have to like keep your positive energy around negative people all the time it was a lot so um, yeah I moved to the activities um, started doing that that was great but then I just thought one day there was a there was one of the seniors that was an arsehole and um, she told me that I'm not senior material um, she was like let's face it when you're not um, senior material which you know one I don't want to be <laughs> a senior in a care home thank you very much and two you don't even know me <laughs> so at that point I just thought you know what I don't want to be here I'm definitely better than this and I was making somebody breakfast um, and I, it just came to me that I can't be here forever, I can't, I went to uni, I, you know, I'm skilled, <laughs> like, I don't need, I don't need this, um, so yeah, I just decided to apply for a call centre, um, and at the first time I applied for the call centre, they didn't, they didn't want me, <laughs> was all right but this is when I found ASMR so it was it was one of those jobs where no one knows what they're doing so I work in this call center whenever we get a complaint if I can't handle it I need to speak to a manager to see how I can they wouldn't have a clue what to do some of them would just stare at me then I would do what I needed to do on the call the best I could and then I'd get Yeah. <laughs> 
years and years. Um, so it was kind of like a reaction just to chill me out, I think. And, you know, it made me think if there's anything, you know, if there's any whisper, in, if there's any whispering videos anywhere, it's going to be on YouTube. So I Google whispers and then GP comes up.